What's the fastest way to get to Seoul from Gyeongju? Well, by high-speed train, of course. We'll show you the stations, the seating, the train, and a bit of our view along the way. This is Khaki Shorts, where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. While on our two-week trip to South Korea, we spent a few days in Gyeongju on the southeastern side of the peninsula. When our time here was over, we still had to travel back to the Seoul area to catch our flight home. The quickest way to do that is by high-speed train. KTX runs a service from Busan that ends at Seoul Station. Gyeongju is one of the stops closest to Busan. We were worried about getting seats, so we purchased our tickets online ahead of time. If you go through the KTX website, it will direct you to Rail Ninja to purchase your tickets. This is what we used on the way to Gyeongju from Seoul. For the ride back, I used Trip.com and was able to purchase tickets there just as easily. Some sites will tell you to print out your tickets, as the conductors on the train will not accept an e-ticket. On both the ride down and back, no one actually checked our tickets, hard copy or e-ticket. The Sing Gyeongju station where the KTX train stops is outside of Gyeongju a bit. They have a bus that will take you, but we chose to use Uber as we had a couple of large pieces of luggage and an 87-year-old mom to deal with. The station itself is very nice. They have plenty of seating, a convenience store, a souvenir shop, several restaurants including a loteria, and a tourist information kiosk for Gyeongju and the surrounding area. There is also a man ticket booth where you can purchase tickets the day of if needed, but be warned that the two trains we rode were both full for most of the journey, so last minute tickets might not be available. They had this message above the ticket booth asking to not be bothered until you had checked your train information at one of the many video boards scattered around the station. There are only six tracks here, but there are two entrances to the track level, one on each side of the station. Check your carriage number as it will determine which side you enter to save walking. We were in carriage 16, so we used the right entrance, so when we reached the platform we would be near the entrance to our train car. They do have elevators here, but we just used the escalators to descend to the train platform. As this was not an end destination, Seoul or Busan, the train will only stop for 4-5 to five minutes, just enough time for passengers to disembark and new passengers to climb on board and get seated. Between some of the cars, they have bigger luggage racks, which we needed due to a huge suitcase we used, but there are also racks above the seats for carry-on size luggage, bags, and backpacks. Your tickets will have your assigned seating. We chose to just go with the regular economy seats. It is only a two hour train ride and it didn't seem like it was worth the money for the upgrade to slightly bigger seats. The seats are actually very comfortable with a charging station, coat hooks, reading lights, and a pull down footrest. They have free Wi-Fi on the train, so you can just use your laptop, pad, or phone to surf, play games, etc. They also have multiple video screens in each car that show music videos and have promotional pieces about the areas you're traveling through. There is no sound and all the subtitles are in Korean, so we just enjoyed the pretty visuals. This screen will also inform you of upcoming stops, as well as show the station's names in Korean and English. Conductors will come through occasionally counting passengers and checking tickets, although no one in our car was ever asked to produce theirs. During the two hour ride, there are only four or five total stops, and the scenery is a mix of farmland, residential, and sometimes bigger cities. There are quite a few tunnels, some of them pretty long, along the way, and you can almost doze off from the rocking of the train and the darkness outside, although it can be a rude awakening when you come out of the tunnels. When we arrived at the outskirts of Seoul, the train has to slow down and can't go the fast pace it does in the countryside. Finally, it's Seoul Station, and we disembarked, along with our huge suitcase. Two trains had arrived on parallel tracks at the same time, so there was a bit of a line to take the escalators up to the main station level. We were headed to Incheon to stay one night before our flight the next day, so we searched for the Incheon Airport Express, which is a bit difficult to find. Before that, we decided to grab a quick lunch at the Loteria at the station, which was crazy busy. Sarah tried their rice burger, which is either a chicken or beef burger, but the bun is made with sticky rice. It didn't look quite like the picture, but it was actually quite tasty. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos about our retired life here in Thailand and our trips around the world.